Yep. Yeah, and we got 19 up, and I'm very nervous on the sidelines, and Copes and trying to calm me down uh, because I knew what was coming. They get loose, and they, uh, with Rotney in the frame of mind, he is. He made some shots that were unbelievably good, unbelievably good. And then Oscar gets going. Uh, some of Oscar's ones was our miscommunication, not sticking to our rules. So he got some wide open looks and knocked them down. And they're charging. And I think it was to our credit that we were able to somehow hang on uh, with some big plays down the stretch. 80% of that game, they're in a zone defense. And we're just keeping our nose in front, nose in front. We push it out, then they go back to their man to man and we start to protect the, you know, just manage the clock, think we're okay, and they're hitting big shot, big shot, big shot. And fortunately for us, we were able to match some big shots. Not as many, but we managed some, some big shots, and, and that's a massive win for us because it's a, the first serious win we have. Mm -hmm. And this thing, this ladder, the way this season is, it is ridiculous. So series wins are going to be vital. So we, we, we can put one in the bank, and it's a good one too, because they're getting better. Their last couple of games, they've had some wins. You see with what Rotney and the way they're playing here, the depth, the way he uses the, the, the players, the way they shoot at home here, it is a tough, tough place to win. We feel fortunate to get two wins here. Last week, you were critical of the guys in Exodus, some of the guys in King City and, and Angie. Did you feel like that was, that was addressed during the weekend? And Absolutely. You, you know, I think not only did, did we address it, but the players got together and they addressed it themselves. And I kept, we, we were reinforcing after the last game that you cannot take a single possession off. You've got to compete every single time down the floor because the, the parity that's out there, it's too good. So if you, if you are down a little bit, uh, you're going to get burnt. Similarly, if teams aren't, they're down a little bit, we'll burn them. So it's who can maintain that intensity on the defensive end the area that we still haven't fixed up is you look at the rebounding and say, well, we got, good thing is we got 37. We've only been averaging uh, 31 or something in that order. So the good thing is we, we at least got 37. But we gave up 18 offensive rebounds. My goodness. That's, for us to win giving up 18 offensive rebounds is extraordinary. They're getting those shots, uh, a lot of them coming with guineas. So... If we can tidy up that area, and I mean, I hope Jason can reinforce, it's not that we ignore it. We, we, at practice, we're, we're telling them, we're, we're, we're telling the box out, we're penalising them at practice when they don't get an offensive board, they've got to do push-ups. We're going to have the biggest barrel-chested team in the history of the competition because at practice they're doing push-ups all the time. So it's, it's something that if we don't tidy up, we don't have an advantage. If we can tidy up that area, I think that we, we can have an advantage and at least the body language and the intensity and the way the guys were going about it tonight showed that, 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 that there was that recognition. Now we've just got to put it into a better application. Big game for you personally. Did you, did you feel like you were rolling early? He had a couple of, you know, that, that three was a, a good look and seemed like you were rolling. Were you, were you happy with the way you played? Sort of bounce back after a bit of a, a shitty spot with the team? Yeah, I've definitely been in a bit of a rut the last few games and I'm not scared to say that. I've been disappointed myself, but look, I had a good week. We had a week of practice, which we haven't had for six weeks, I think. So it was nice to, I guess, refresh and just get back to the basics. And I hit my first one and I felt good. So look, I, I, players go through slumps and I wish it wasn't over a stretch where we had four games in a week, but it's how it goes. And uh, for me, it was just about rebounding and doing what I had to do to get a win. Feel like I did that. I still think I need to get be more aggressive and find another people. But look, I hit some shots tonight, so I'm happy with it. And Drew, we talked about the energy. It seemed like you guys made the conscious decision to really run it down their throats, particularly in that first half, to sort of get yourselves going. Was that was that kind of something that you guys looked at before? 100. percent We feel like when we can get out and run, we are good. And then it frees up us getting through our half court stuff as well, because we can find that right balance where we can get in a bit of a flow and. I think the last few games we've got too stagnant. We've been trying to play too much half court and not let Newells and Greg and people like those get out and be free a little bit. So I think we found the right balance tonight, especially against the zone of just finding that running game and also being able to get through hands when we had to and uh, it worked out tonight. You've sort of uh, been tight in your rotations, but now with, with Steve going to the next night, you've played Jeremy a little bit more. Darren got some court time. Is that something you'll look to con 
Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's out of necessity and, and with the matchups that we had here, uh, we've got some other things that we're looking at as well. Jules still to come back. Um, we, we, we've been in practice, we've been getting Josh playing a little bit as the four as well as the five. Just trying to find ways in which we can incorporate and get the best out of everyone. And, and I thought Prue, both Prue and... Um, uh, but I don't, I don't want to leave out Tommy as well because Tommy's been getting some, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. But I thought Tommy hit some massive baskets. But Jeremy coming in uh, again was there, was battling. He's, he, he, he's, he's in the right spots. It just, it's hard because it's confidence with him. And you can't blame him. I haven't played him for a while. But we need him. And we need these guys and both of them, although it's still only limited minutes, they're very, very important minutes when we had some foul trouble. We're trying to nurse nurse that period into the third quarter and the start of the fourth to protect some of our guys. And they did a great job. They did a really, really good job. So we're talking to them and I keep telling them to stay positive because their time will come. I don't think they would consider tonight their time coming, but nevertheless, it's the start. And, and those opportunities, while we don't know what Steve's doing, there's going to be this, there's 22 minutes or whatever it was, 20 extra minutes that, that, that are there to, that we've got to find spots for. So. We've got a massive, massive week this week. We've got Cairns and then we've got Melbourne United. So we seem to have played the most games of anyone and we've got the busiest schedule this week. I'm trying to figure out when our, when our, when our schedule starts to slow up a little bit. I think we finish at Christmas, right? <laughs> I think we've run out of games by then. But what it does do is that it makes sure you've got to put them in the bank. You've got to keep your head above water because when you've got all these games in a row, in a blink of an eye in a week, you can drop two or three and all of a sudden you're out the back door and you got the worry beads out and you're saying, where's our next win coming from? It's cans in cans, my goodness. They, they beat us there. We're fortunate to beat them at our place twice. This is the last game we play against them on Thursday. So we've got to get our guys freshened up and, and very, very tough assignment where they don't, the last three or four years, they don't, they don't lose in, in cans very, or very rarely. So it's, it's going to be a tough one for us. Good job.